This is an instructional video on sash removal on a T-Rex sliding window. We're going to walk you through the steps of how to remove the sash. And the first thing you want to do is take this plastic cap, pry it out at the bottom slightly. You can do this with your finger or with a screwdriver and that will snap it loose. You can slide it down in that motion. You'll do the same thing from the bottom one. Pull the back up, slide it up, remove both caps. When you have both caps removed, you have what's called an anti-lift device right here with one screw. You're going to unscrew this, take the screw completely out, and then you can get a hold of the anti-lift piece and slide it out, and it'll come out like that. That's what it looks like. Once you have that completed, you now have a foam insert it has a spring in the middle. You can take this out. You don't necessarily have to, but it will make the process easier if you do take it out. And you can do it in this manner. You can slide something in, pull it out, remove that piece. You now have the ability to unlatch your window. It's to lift the window slightly, slide it over halfway, grab it on both sides, lift straight up, and pull your bottom out towards you, and then drop the entire unit, and it'll come out like this. What you've now got is the removed sash, your roller carriages on the bottom, your handles here. There's the linkage that attaches this point lock to the handle, from the handle to the carriages. All this assembly is part of your operating and latching of the window. And you can see when this is, when the handle is in the up position, the carriages come down, which allows your, your sash to rest in, in place and seal off. And when you turn the handle down, it lifts the sash up, and the rollers are then free uh, free to move. And you'll do this in the op opposite reverse. What we've just done to reinstall this sash, go back in, put the top in place, and slide your bottom in. If you find what I've got here is you, the rollers need to be up inside, push it in, and pop it in place. Then you just shut your sash and do everything in reverse procedure. Install your foam block, your foam plug, and then you slide your anti-lift back in place, making sure that it's, it's level as you're going in. There's a little notch right there that has to engage for it to be properly installed. This little notch goes into a channel on top of that cap. So you want to make sure it's flat as you're going in install it, replace your screws or one screw for that matter and then simply take your caps place them in position and slide them till you hear them click and you're now reinstalled